Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of Jelly Bam ROM uh, for your Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 on my left and also AT&T Galaxy S2 SGH i777 on my right. Uh, let me go ahead and just um, grab one of these so you don't get confused here. And the uh, Jelly Bam ROM comes with uh, three different ROMs. It's a hybrid mix of AOK PMR1 build 4 uh, CM 10.1 and Paranoid Android 3.10. This is the latest Android 4.2.2 with those ROMs, uh, with all of those features. And a very nice ROM. And they even have multi user. Um, I don't actually recommend that one. Uh, I used it and it wasn't. Um, it wasn't as. Uh, the one. It's not complete. So I don't recommend the multi user at this point. But this ROM itself uh, is very stable camera works very well and that's you know one of the first things I test is camera if camera works really well uh, most of the time everything else on the ROM works pretty well no delays a very nice very nice focus very fast um, actually I feel like this is way faster than uh, the TouchWiz camera um, so very nice camera and uh, there may be some delays sometimes like that uh, but not too bad Shouldn't be a delay. I think just the first time you do it, it kind of uh, has a delay. But after the first time, it should be no delays. All right. There we go. Stop. All right. I'm not sure why. Every time I've tested this, and it just happens when I'm making a video, it something goes wrong. But it works well. Um, it works really well on the AT&T version. It should be working well. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Record. There we go. See, it's fine. It's fine on the AT&T version. I think it's my my i9100 is camera shy today. Anyway, <laughs> um, very nice ROM. You get the DSP manager, um, and also you get all of the settings from AOKP. ROM control uh, called BAM control. Paranoid Android, uh, Paranoid Android settings. Holobam. This kind of changes everything into the Holobam um, theme. We can try it real quick. Actually, it's kind of make it bluish. Eh? It's nice. Oops. Ah. All right. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And also launcher themes, wallpapers. Great stuff. If you go to BAM control, um, you'll find the standard AOKP ROM control settings, uh, plus some more stuff. General interface, some of the stuff I recommend, um, hardware back to kill, enable kill all button, recent RAM bar, um, that's all here, kill all button, recent RAM bar, and also if you hold down um, the back button, let's say you're playing a, a game that takes a lot of, eh, I just hit the back button that takes a lot of RAM like this Hello Kitty Cafe does take a lot of RAM just hold down the back button and it will kill it did it kill it? okay maybe not <laughs> oh god there you go I finally killed it um so very nice ROM and let's go back to settings here and uh... BAM control You'll be able to enable Pi controls. This is uh, actually Pi control from the the Paranoid Android ROM. I would set the trigger size small, otherwise it may interfere with your keyboard. And also, you can set it to right, left, or um, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed. Chevron targets. This is like when you swipe all the way to the left, it'll show you the notifications like on the screen. It's kind of cool. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. You might have to enable expanded desktop to make this work the first time. So go ahead and if it's not working for you, like here, go to BAM control and uh, go to power menu, go to expanded desktop, offset to status bar visible or hidden, and go ahead and uh, enable expanded desktop. And it should start working now. Yeah, there we go. That will restart the UI and you can now use it. Um, so if you go all the way like this, all the way swipe to the left, you'll get the notifications. Um, and I don't know how to swipe this away. 
I forget. There we go. Just the home button. <clears throat> uh, but very nice ROM. Let me go into some of the other stuff. So that you get all the standard AOKP. This is all standard AOKP. Um, don't forget you can uh, change your tiles and layout. Add more tiles here at GPS. Uh, if you want to move that up here and use two fingers and you'll see that GPS is up there now. A uh, very nice for that. That's all AOKP. Uh, S pen gestures. You don't have to worry about that. Exposed framework. This is the same thing as Paranoid Android settings. I would actually suggest using the Paranoid Android settings. Um, you know. So let's say you want Gmail to be in tablet mode. Now it's in phone mode. Uh, go ahead and go to Paranoid Android settings and Paranoid Android preferences. Go to apps. Go find your Gmail and change it um, any way you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and change, make the font smaller. If you move the DPI to the left, it's going to make the font smaller. And then you can change the total UI to 600p. Go ahead and reopen it, and you should be in tablet mode, which is really nice. So there you have it. And you can do this for any apps, um, you know, especially apps with tablet and phone mode, like t you know, Netflix has tablet and phone mode. And uh, with tablet mode, you can see way more movies um, in one screen. So that's very nice. All that paranoid Android AOKP. I'm just I just showed you an example from you know AOKP and also paranoid Android. And uh, other than that, you know, pretty nice ROM. Everything works. Uh, if you have trouble with Google Now now force closing, just go to Play Store, update Google Search. And that will fix it. And that's because they have a new app. So you just gotta update it and that will make it work. And sometimes that's you know that's a deal breaker for some people, but it's a simple fix I found out. And once that's uh, updated, Google Now should work. Uh, and also you get Pi controls. And actually I've disabled the soft keys. Um, you can also go to Paranoid Preferences, go to Interface, and uh, this is where you get you can actually get rid of the uh, nav bar, which I did, and also set it to a different size if it's too big for you. But by default, you'll actually have the soft keys, which will show up here in like three, two, one. Yeah, what happens? Oh, you know what? And also, I've have expanded desktop uh, on. That's why. There you go. So to get rid of it, there's two ways. If you want to get rid of the uh, soft keys. You can enable the expanded desktop, or you can also uh, mess with the interface settings in Paranoid Android. But I'm not going to get too much into it. I'll let you guys play with it. There's so many features with this ROM you can do because it's based on three ROMs, and uh, you know it's it's pretty darn stable. Very good for our daily driving. I have pretty good battery life on both the i7-7 and GT9 i9100. So if you're looking for Android 4.2.2 and uh, you don't have the time to try all the AOKP, um, Paranoid Android, and also CM10.1, just install this and uh, you know it's pretty stable you'll be, get all the best features in just one ROM and check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think and if you have any questions don't forget to leave in the comment section and this will pick up my sound there you go Anyway, see you guys later. Um, stay high on Android, and if you have Galaxy S2, any of the Galaxy S2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and see how you use the AOKP ROM control, uh, the BAM control, to change out, you know, the bottom part. You can change it all to your favorite, you know, apps and stuff, which is nice too. A ton of ways, just you know, that's why it's called Jelly Bam. Um, yeah, anyway, see you guys later. Have fun with Jelly Bam or Alliance ROM, ROMs of the week this week. See you guys later. Stay high on Android.